hello I will show you how to download or to use Eclipse to run C and C++ program <coughs> sorry so if you go to the eclipse.org and this is the home page of Eclipse click on download there are different projects are available right now so basically we use Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developer <coughs> we click here actually let me go back yeah yeah so basically you can select either 64 bit or 32 bit depends on your computer so like for me I have 64 bit and then you download it so you get you save as and it comes in a zip file then you unzip it then it's ready to run now the next step I already have actually downloaded Eclipse for C and C++ uh, program so the next step is to uh, to find a com uh, C C++ compiler there are many actually they are available in the <laughs> if you browse them so basically if we can say C compiler compiler there is a huge list of uh, sorry compi compiler for Windows so basically you can find many are available as uh, many of them they are free so basically you can download however I, I there is a, another way I find it is way better than this is to use a Sigwin <coughs> a program Sigwin is a, a is a native Linux app it's a, a lightweight of Linux basically uh, you can run Linux on the top of Windows and the good thing about Sigwin you actually you can select the, the libraries and the modules you would like to to use and if uh, there are different varieties of uh, C, C++ compilers and uh, uh, cross compilers where you can actually compile a program from one computer to another so I find this is more interesting actually rather than download it uh, like a regular one and uh, have a problem of defining like folders or other problems you might face when you set configuration so it's easy to use Sigwin so like here, here you can ins download Sigwin there are <coughs> so it depends on your computer again you can download it for 32 bit and 64 I so basically if you click on s in setup 86 you have the 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 execution file and you save it and run it I already have this one I have it here so let me go there I have it here so if I let's start let's run it and see how we can install the C C++ compilers so this is the first we get it from here we'll press next next so you have a uh, like this is the folder where the Sigwin actually is, is saved I have it on C Sigwin you can change it whatever you want uh, and here you keep it like for all users unless you want to specify it to a specific user next S this is where actually the the uh, you store the local uh, package so there's a directory for the local package when you download so you don't need to worry about it it's automatically defined it's where they look where you actually saved your Sigwin uh, execution file press next direct connection now there are different locations where you can actually download Sigwin libraries I use basically that one the HTTP sigwin.mirror.consent.com next okay so there's a new ver newer version anyway just leave it right now I'm not gonna do any update uh, okay okay so these are the libraries or the packages where actually you need you we can select 
uh, our our libraries for example if you would like to have the uh, C plus C C plus plus compiler you just types GCC sorry GCC instead of GVV GCC come on GCC yeah so now here we have the development package as you can see that I already have the Sigwin 32 GCC core I ha also have the GC uh, Sigwin 32 GCC G++ we can also we can have I already have the GCC G++ compiler also we can use uh, the GCC Ming W GCC this one we can add it <coughs> we can add the core so you can basically do whatever you want we can add that one uh, let me click so this is for 64 bit and uh, this is for Fortran uh, I guess this is GCC make development so we can also use for the Ming the make file the core and GCC make file okay so this is basically I have now as you can see so I have the uh, <coughs> Sigwin 32 GCC compiler <coughs> and I have the Ming W GCC compiler so also I, I actually I need to have a shared memory library so SHM if I click on libs I select the libxcp shared memory development this is for shared memory and that one the second one as you can see there is also for PHP but right now we're not gonna use it for editors for example I use nano nano editor and I I already have nanos been installed so this is for right now so if you click next now these are the dependencies libraries so basically we make sure that it's been checked in next so now it's downloading and probably takes a while so I'll get back to you once it's done okay so now the download is ready so basically we select if you like to have it on the start menu or create an icon desktop so you do finish now you have it here so if we open it now we have the sequence is going to be executed I already actually uh, saved uh, if you see the C drive I already have this folder sequence folder and I already have the uh, the Eclipse is stored in in one of the folders in the home folder of the sequence so if I get back if I say CD me just LS so this is the Eclipse as if I say CD Eclipse then Eclipse so now I have the execution Eclipse okay so now Eclipse is running within the Sigwin environment so you define the workspace
it's running so probably because it's running for the first time it takes time so it's almost done okay so let me just close this windows so now we have Eclipse and it's running it's showing the CC++ perspective simply you can go to to Windows perspective and actually you select which perspective you would like to have there are different type perspectives This is one of the good thing in Eclipse. It can be used for different type of languages and uh, modeling tools, uh, debugging tools, and that that acquis that assurance or that acquisition tools. So this is the default one. Okay. So now if we go to the new C project. As you can see, so basically we define, let's call it the uh, project one, project, don't know what's wrong, project one, and here we have different compiler, we have the cross uh, compiler, where you can compile a C program from one computer to another, we have the Sigwin uh, GCC, this is the Microsoft Visual C++. This is where I actually already have a, a Microsoft Visual Studio this installed in my computer. And this is the main GW GCC. So we have different uh, compilers. If I click next, I want the release. I will make it release version. Finish. So this is the project. And from here we can actually start. So that's for today. Thank you.